This is a short video on the options available on the format character dialog box, more advanced formatting options than those available on the format bar. To begin, we'll select the text, that was a triple click to select the sentence, and from the format menu, I'm going to choose character. The format character dialog box is a five tab dialog box. The first tab covers selecting the font, style, regular, italic, bold, and the combination, and the size. You can also choose the language. So we'll change the font here to trebuchet, and we'll change the size to 16. I'll leave it in regular. Moving to the font effects dialog box, here we have some options that we didn't have on the format bar. We do have format color, and again, you see the preview reflecting the changes. Under effects, we have case options. That is uppercase or lowercase. So we can choose capitals, converts the text to all uppercase. Lowercase, naturally enough, converts it to all lowercase. It's well worth remembering when you don't want to have to retype. Title, which is initial caps on each, each word. Capital A, capital L, capital O, capital S capital T, and the rest of the text left lowercase. And then we have small caps, which replaces the lowercase letters with small capital letters. I'm going to leave this at title case. Now we can choose embossed or engraved. Not options that we use terribly often because, as you can see, they're subtle in their manifestation. Outline, which I do think is an, an interesting effect. And shadow, which just gives that slight edge to appear shadow. Blinking is an option that would only show on the in the document. Clearly nothing you'd ever use for a printed document. You might possibly use it in a web document. I'll turn it on just so you see the effect when we finish. Of course, hidden would mean you wouldn't be able to see it. Overlining puts a line above the text, and it's available in a number of formats. And you can choose a separate color for that. Underlining, of course, you're very familiar with that. And you can choose to underline only the words and not the space between them. And you can choose yet another color for the underlining. You can see the text can quite soon get quite busy in its appearance. Strike through is an option that's used generally to mark text that is proposed for deletion in a document that's being worked on collaboratively. Let's just put a single strike through and it just puts a line through the text. So it's still readable but it's marked for deletion. I'll put that, take that off for now. Now we'll go to the position dialog box. On the position dialog box, we have superscript and subscript. So for example, if you were typing nine squared, the superscript would be the two that represented the squared. So it's just a little, little character and raised above the line. And subscript would be, for example, a chemical formula. If you wanted to type H2O for water, the two would be lowered and small. But 90 degrees puts the word on its end vertically and 270 vertically the other way around. Scale, if we set this to 200, scale just makes the letters bigger. But it does tend to um, move them out of then their uh, scale. It tends to skew them. That is, the width changes, but the height doesn't. So it's probably an option you would only use very occasionally. <clears throat> if you want to make it bigger or take up more space, a better option is to expand by however many points you find attractive. Pair kerning means that the spacing between pairs of letters is controlled for the best appearance based on an algorithm within the software. You can also choose condensed. Condensed by four points would make 
that's 2.7 point, would make it essentially unreadable. But if you condense text by a small amount, sometimes it will allow you to fit text into a space that it wouldn't otherwise fit. So I'm going to go back to expanding. So we've done some pretty complicated formatting on this text, and I'll click OK. And I'll deselect. And you see it blinking. Remember I checked blinking, that's the blink effect. Clearly not very sensible for most options, but for a special purpose it might be useful. Okay, quick introduction to the format character dialog box.